I last came to Nordharden five years ago and I can't believe how much it's changed. Just a few minutes ago I recorded a short little film and I gave you a bit of an idea. <laughs> ships right I gave you a bit of an idea of a building that has got more story car park above a netto supermarket with kiddies play area on the roof and people clearly using it of, of all ages I remember coming and seeing it five years ago and it was a building in a bit of an industrial wasteland and I, I couldn't quite imagine what this place would be like and in the space of five years this place has been completely transformed the quality of life here seems to be outstanding I would move here in a heartbeat if I could you've got loads of facilities you can see a restaurant over my shoulder you've even got bathhouse over there and there are people actually swimming in the water as I speak and my hat will give you an indication of how chilly it is this evening. So in the space of five years this place has just become something quite extraordinary and I'm I'm really really impressed. It's really hard on these videos to give you a real sort of good impression of what a place feels like so one of the best ways you can experience it is is get out here for yourself uh, I run study tours so if you want some assistance on knowing the best places to go and having a tour guide just get in touch with me you can find my website at urbandesigndr.co.uk the other thing I've been looking at is the types of spaces people get we often hear sort of narrative that old oh, people in the UK don't want to live in apartments but what's really interesting is when you look at the style and the design of apartments that you get here so I'm looking at some of the apartments and you can see they've all got balconies really generous balconies that allow people to use and personalize them People at the ground floor have got really generous terraces, normally raised a metre or so off the ground, so it gives them a bit of extra privacy, but they get a lot more space than people living in upper floor apartments. You see duplexes as well, and it's actually been a really interesting time to come here in the evening, because you've been able to get sort of that sneaky look inside people's living spaces and get an indication of what types of spaces they've got inside. These are not pokey small apartments, these are really generously sized living spaces and surely that's got to be part of the solution to our high housing crisis is not only providing homes in the conventional sense that we're accustomed to but building more at higher densities and providing people with apartments that meet the different needs in life and actually apartments that aren't things that people don't want to live in. There are loads of apartments here that I thought actually I'd, I'd be quite happy to live here. So I'm going to carry on wandering about a bit and sort of soaking up the atmosphere of the place. Loads of people walking around, loads of people out and about doing jobs going swimming in the water running round going to the shops etc but as we all know to get those sorts of things you need a critical mass of people you need the density to be right anyway hope you've enjoyed this little clip see you later